All right, boys and girls, this is my attempt to make chum for shark fishing. First, I don't know what I'm doing, so this will be entertaining if nothing else. Second, this is going to be ugly, so uh, if you're squeamish, uh, you might want to find something else to watch. First and most important, I've got a whole lot of menhaden left over from my trip down to the coast. I've got my electric meat grinder that I normally use for deer meat. I've got a bucket of chicken feed that I've heard makes a good uh, binder. And I've got a dog that's dying to eat some menhaden. And oh, by the way, for safety, I've got my fish cleaning table on this side and my electrical stuff on this side. You can never be too safe when making chum. First comes the dirty work, and that's going to be cutting up these things into pieces that will fit into the meat grinder. Lesson number one, the heads don't grind up as well as these chunks, so I've separated them out. The next step is to mix some of this grain with some of the meat. Some experts have told me this is what helps spread the scent through the water column without giving them big chunks of meat to eat. So this is much nastier than I thought it was going to be. And as if all the other crap wasn't enough, some menating oil. is nasty. Final step is going to be to dump this crap into a container that I can freeze. My plan is to put it in bags, put it inside of a bucket, and then freeze it. All right, two more pieces of advice on making homemade chum. First, do it at night. Uh, it's cooler, doesn't smell as bad, there's less flies and uh, less yellow jackets around. Second, it's a great time to send your wife out with the girls for evening and you pay for it. It'll be a lot cheaper than a divorce attorney.